Hi King Fit friends, this is Andrew and today we're going to be using a stability ball for a core circuit. I was in a lift with a gentleman named Saeed yesterday and he said ever since he started driving for lift he started to have some lower back issues and I told him I'd uh, give him some exercises to work on. So hopefully this helps some of you drivers out there to work on the strength, stability of your core which will hopefully lead to less back pain. Now a disclaimer, you should definitely see a doctor uh, if you have lower back pain or hip flexor pain or any kind of pain really to find out what's going on with you. Here are some exercises that helped me when I had lower back pain as a college student um, really, really start to feel a lot better. So hopefully they work for you as well as they did for me. Okay, so we're going to start with a plank. Now a level one plank is on the ground, okay? So not even using the stability ball yet. I'm just going to get my elbows under my shoulders, keep my hips flat. I don't want to arch in the lower back like so. Keep my hips flat like so. And I just want to start with a 30 second hold. If your lower back starts to hurt, go down to your knees. In fact, the knees might be a good level one for you if it feels a little uncomfortable here. So if this is level one here, we want to make sure we're nice and tall in the shoulder complex. And I want you to sink it into those shoulders, okay? Stay nice and tall in that shoulder complex. Make sure you're not arching that back. Can I see my butt going up, my lower back sagging? You should squeeze those glutes, keep those abs tight, and come up here, and we're just gonna start with a 30 second hold, okay? So level one on the knees, level two up here, level three, you lift a, a leg, right? Or you can add a little bit of movement like so, lift the other leg. So that's a good place to start. What we'd like to work up to is adding this level of instability with the stability ball. So here I'm gonna have my elbows on, my, on the ball, my shoulders, above my elbows, and here I'm just gonna start holding here. Now just because the ball's unstable, I've already got a lot more of my muscle shaking, and all that shaking is good. Again, if this starts to hurt your lower back, take a break, all right, and maybe bring it down a level. It's gonna be a process, so don't expect to be able to do this right away, okay? But this is what, we, what you're working up towards. So, a level one plank, or level two, or level three, for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna jump into the bridge. This is great for glute activation and helps with that uh, lower back stability. So as you see, a good way to start to get in this position is I like to put my butt on the ground. I'm kind of sitting here. Now I'm just gonna lift my hips up and then roll to my neck, okay? So my shoulders and my neck are supported. The further I go down and put less on my shoulders and more on my head, the harder this exercise gets, okay? So, give you a little bit better of a view here. I start with my lower back in the ball. I roll up into this bridge position, okay? My feet are hip width apart. My neck's in the ball, a little bit of my shoulders. And I'm gonna do 15 reps. Just bring my butt down, two, three, four, pushing off my heels, squeezing those glutes into that nice, flat position. I can put a bowl of soup here and it'd be uh, not spilling. So down, two, three, four. Squeeze those glutes even before you start moving to make sure it's the glutes that are activating. And then up, nice and slow down. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. Squeezing those glutes. So we want to do 15 reps here, nice and slow. Make sure those knees are staying in line with those toes. So I'm not going in or out, anything like that right now. Nice and slow down. And nice and slow up, squeezing those glutes. All right, we're doing 15 reps. A four, four tempo, up for four, down for four. Nice and slow. And then you can bring your butt to the ground. Now my butt's got most of my weight, and then I can come up nice and easy. <laughs> That's the easiest way to, to get up on a stability ball in that way, I think. It's easy to fall off. So just, uh, you know, have a little bit of humor if you fall off. Don't get mad at yourself. All right, so we just did 30 seconds plank, 15 second bridge, and now we're gonna jump into doing the YTWs. And you'll see why we call it the YTWs in just one second. So I'm gonna put my belly button on the ball here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and angle so you can see me okay. If you can't see my hands, just look in the, in the mirror there. So I'm on my, my belly button. I've got a little bit of my hips on there. Put a little bit more hips. And then a little bit of like, a, a little bit of my ribs around there too, okay? I'm actually going to move it down a little bit. The further down I go on my body, the longer lever, which means it's going to be a little more challenging, okay? 
I like to put my feet against a wall here just to help me with stability. And my knees are straight. I'm not letting my knees bend like so, okay? And what I'm gonna do is keep those elbows nice and straight by my body, starting right by my hips, and I'm gonna bring it up two, three, four into a Y position, and then all the way back down. And I'm just gonna start with doing five of each of these. And nice and slow down, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four. We're doing five, and then we're just gonna jump into the T's after our five. So you can see my hands right now are doing a Y, and right after five, I'm arching my back a little bit, squeezing my shoulder blades together, and then we go to a T. See my arms are now in line with my shoulders, crossing my body here, nice and slow up. I wanna to try to keep my, my shoulders away from my ears. Okay, if I'm up here, I'm kinda of using my traps more than I'd like to. Up, squeeze, I bring my palms facing in front of me, that just gives me a little bit extra external rotation in the shoulder. <clears throat> squeeze in those shoulder blades, nice and slow down. And if your lower back is starting to really feel this, it's a little painful, take a break, okay? We can, you can stop right there, all right? You can also, if you want to uh, alter it a little bit to help with that lower back pain, you can just totally take out the back arch. Now I'm just using my, my upper body. And then we're going into W's. So here is without using that back arch, bring them down, rotating those shoulders back. And if I wanna add that back arch in, a little bit of that lower back is helping me get up. There we go. We're extending that spine. You really feel this in these postural muscles. Up and squeeze. Remember to try to keep your shoulders away from your ears with this one. Up and squeeze. Oh, there we go, five. And then you get a nice little break. Perfect position to just relax your body and let your lower back relax here and take some big breaths in and out. And you're in a perfect position to stretch those muscles out in the lower back because that ball is pressing against the stomach, right? And so it really allows these muscles to expand, all right? So we've got the plank for 30 seconds. We've got the bridge for 15 reps. And then we have the YTW for 15 reps, really five Ys, five Ts, five Ws. Now that's a good uh, place, to, place to be. See if that works for you. If you want to start with fewer reps, uh, or a few seconds on the plank, feel free to. You want to go at your own comfort level and work up. Thanks, everybody. If you have any questions, please comment in the comment section below. I'd love to uh, help you on your journey to getting that lower back nice and strong and stable. And you can see all of my uh, other videos and more information at kingfittraining.com. That's kingfittraining.com. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.